Hey guys, so Overlord Tico here. How you guys doing today? Bringing you a quick little video of mag. I don't know if it's gonna be little. I guess sometimes I drag on and I explain and explain and explain in little detail. A detail you guys love so much. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be just showing you guys my skill tree right now. And I guess I'm gonna be showing you guys in order how important the things in the skill tree is and like what my opinion is on what you should up pick on the skill tree. You know, to what you, you what you should upgrade. Depending on the way you play, my play style is different from everybody else's. So, I try to be an all-around player, a little bit good in everything. So, yeah. All right. So, I'm gonna show you guys my skill tree real quick. And the most important thing in the skill tree that you should always go for is the medical. The first thing you should always do whenever you you know as you guys know in the skill tree for every level you got, you can spend a skill point. And you can spend it on one of these things, and I can't right now, dude. <laughs> All right. Anyways, mind that. <laughs> Alright, so we can spend one skill point on each time we level up on one of these. One of the skill branches. And as you guys can see right now, this right here will be five points if I got one, two, three, four, five. The first thing you should always, always, always get whenever you start using the skill tree is the medical tree. The first five points, the first five points from your first five levels, you should spend them right here. You spend them at resuscitation, upgrade it all the way to resuscitation three. Resuscitation one pretty much will let you pick up people once you buy the medical kit. Will let you uh, heal them, like pick them up and re uh, revive them, and it'll give, revive them with 50% health. I believe this one revives them with like a little bit more, like a 70% health, 70% of the max of their max health. And this one will revive them with full health, and it will give you 10 points each time you revive somebody. As well, you can also uh, spray somebody if you see their uh, their health is down and spray them and you'll heal them. And what the healing, uh, the improved healing is, it improves the heal rate when using the medical the medical kit on the enemy. So that means they're going to heal up faster because as you guys know, whenever you're healing, it doesn't heal automatically. It just heals little, little by little. If you upgrade this, the heal rate, the improved healing heal rate, and pretty much it, go, it means that uh, the healing is going to heal faster. The healing is going to go faster. And uh, this pretty much this this is, this is part of this like the self heal speed is how long from the moment you click to heal yourself or to click to heal somebody else how long it takes for for it to take effect you know so you should always upgrade that and this right here is very important I don't see a lot of people using it it's the recharge rate this uh, tell this pretty much uh, controls how long you gotta wait before you can use your medical kit or first aid kit again as you guys know after you use it you gotta wait a few seconds if you upgrade this all the way you gotta wait less time before you can use it again so it's good to heal yourself and then pick up a new teammate quicker you know you have, you have to wait less time so you can focus more on healing the second uh, skill branch that you should always focus on is the resistance Resistance is like extended bleed out. That means when you get shot down and you bleeding out on the floor, you stay alive longer. You can wait there longer. And the impact damage resistance is like when you fall from a high from a high place or something, uh, how much damage you take from the fall. So those two are very important. And they actually just help you survive longer. So uh, and then right here we got the explosion resistance. You take less damage from explosions. Down here we got flashbang, and up here we got chemical resistance from poison gas and flashbangs. Those. Are secondary depending on the the game, the game you know depending on if you're playing with a group of people who likes using a gas grenades or you like using flashbangs that you want to upgrade those make sure they don't affect you too much if you whenever you want to get into battle but okay the explosion resistance is the most important thing because the explosion resistance is grenades or explosions are instantaneous it's not like you're gonna take damage little by little you know you're gonna take it instantaneous you're gonna, you're gonna inst instantaneously die so this is very important to upgrade and over here we got the increased health and if you upgrade it all the way, your health, uh, your, your normal health is at 100. It's going to put it up to 120. So these things right here that I got are very important if you want to survive longer. So that's the second thing you should always upgrade. Now, in my opinion, the third good thing you should upgrade are your close quarters. And because your close quarters is your knife and knife gets used a lot in mag. Uh, here we got how, how, often, how often, like after you knife somebody, you click to knife, how, how long you got to wait before you can knife again. This is the knife frequency, and over here we got the, the, the knife damage. Now knives, no matter what the damage is, I believe that if, if you hit somebody from the back with a knife, they're automatically going to bleed out. It doesn't matter what the, what the knife damage is, but if you hit them from the front, it does matter. Especially when you play, when you fight against people that got heavy armor, it's important to have higher damage. So these things are important. Uh, one thing I want to tell you guys is for the close quarters, 
uh, that recoil stability, the stability, it's not really an important thing. I think this is the waste of time like, to actually upgrade this unless you want to, unless you're really a hardcore close quarters person. But for me, it's kind of like a waste because most close quarter weapons got no, got virtually almost no recoil. So this is like kind of like a waste. Uh, over here, we got the reload speed and the swap speed, how long it takes to swap to switch to your, uh, to your close quarters weapon. And this is how the fast, how fast you reload them. The fire rate, I'm not sure about this one because this one depends, uh, for example, the Vipera for Sever, it's got like a slow fire rate, so might you want to upgrade this. But if you play for Raven or Valor, you know, their, uh, their submachine guns already got a pretty good uh, fire rate, so you might not want this in case you want to like save up some ammo, you know, not waste your ammo so quick. But uh, for shotguns, it's important because it will it will be for shotguns. It'll be how often you can shoot your shot, like that. You know what I mean? So yeah. Okay. So once we got the close quarters, the next thing I believe that's the most important is choosing which weapon, which type of weapon you want to upgrade. We can upgrade this marksman, the sniper rifle. I mean, over here, it's my the sniper rifle is really up to the sniper rifle, depending up to the sniper, depending on what they use, what they like to use. You know, if they're like a designated marksman, likes to be close quarters, you want to might upload your recoil stability. But if you want to be like far away and use a large sniper rifle, the 50 cal, you want to get this scope magnification and probably most likely the steady aim because the aim is going to be a very important part of your daily routine. But uh, yeah, the upgrading your weapon is the next most important thing. So we got close quarters weapon, we got marksman for far range, and we got assault rifles. Assault rifles are all round. Over here we got reload launcher speed, reload uh, rocket launchers. I mean rocket launchers. Uh, I'm not really. I'm iffy about them. The steady aim is only when you got. Remember, steady aim only works if you got a scope, like a four time scope. It doesn't work with a red dot or reflex sight. So anybody who upgrades this thinking is gonna help your reflex sight stay in place. No, it doesn't. Okay, the reflex sight is always on spot. The only thing that's not on spot is the scope. So yeah. So this is very important. You know, swap speed and reload speed is always important. Assault rifles are the, the most widely used for me uh, that I've seen. You know, weapons used. So reload speed in your primary weapon of use is always important to have it maxed out. And uh, we got the recoil stability, of course. You know, the recoil on it, and we got how often you can, how uh, how fast you can reload your grenade launchers because assault rifles can have grenade launchers. So yeah. So after we upgrade the weapon, so whatever it is, we want to upgrade the special ops. Now, people who want to use suppressors, I would not recommend using a suppressor until you upgrade this or putting it on a weapon because it's not really going to be very effective. This pretty much uh, affects how far, how how effective your suppressor is, you know. So, if your suppressor is like really, it's not upgraded at all. Somebody, somebody close to you or uh, like middle distance, like mid distance away from you, you know, it's going to still detect you. But if you got it all the way upgraded, they got to be like super close to you to actually hear you whenever you shoot. The tracking duration is pretty much going to say how far, how long you can detect somebody when they shoot, how long they will stay in the map as a red dot. We got the sensor jammer. Now one thing I want to make notice is the sensor jammer beats in the motion sensor, the motion tracker. So if you got a motion sensor fully upgraded, don't think that you're going to detect people that got a sensor jammer fully upgraded. The sensor jammer beats in the motion sensor. So anybody that has a motion sensor cannot detect people that got a fully upgraded sensor jammer. You gotta keep that in mind. So in a word, sensor jammer is better because nobody can detect you, but the motion sensor is also good because it can detect anybody that does not have a sensor jammer. So it kind of fo 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 forces people to wear a sensor jammer, you know, if they wanna if they don't wanna be spotted on the map. So yeah, but the acoustic locator, acoustic locator is actually right now it's actually a little bit more better than a little bit better, not more better. That's bad English, Jesus. But uh. It's actually a little bit better because with the acoustic locator, it uh, a fully upgraded acoustic locator triples the range you can detect fire. You can detect uh, like unsilenced fire or even silence. But if you got it fully upgraded, you can detect a silenced fire at a pretty at a pretty decent range, a mid range. So even if somebody has like a silenced weapon, you still detect them with a fully upgraded acoustic locator. I don't got a fully upgraded because I'm not a marksman. I'm not a, I'm not far range person. So I'm usually close up and personal. So Having upgraded it to here, as along with the sensor jammer, all the way is good enough. And explosive detection, that's up to you, really. Not a lot of people use mines right now. Alright, so as soon as we got upgraded uh, special ops, I would upgrade the engineering next. Or the athleticism. One of these two. Engineering, pretty much how far you can how, how fast you can repair and how fast uh 
you can do damage through your repair kit. But this advanced electronics pretty much uh it's how fast you can take control of like letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whatever, H, I, L, K, whatever. I don't know. I'm, I can't keep. I'm not gonna say the whole alphabet. It's only eight letters. But anyways, it's how how fast you can take control of the uh, of the objective, the letter objectives. This is how fast you can take control of things you're going to blow up, like uh, mortar batteries or anti triple A's, triple A's, uh, anti air batteries, uh, sensor jammers. You know all that good stuff or bunkers this is for the bunkers this is for the letters bunkers everything else that you're gonna blow up this is for letters only so keep that in mind and over here is how fast we deep we uh, plant the mines all right uh, the atlas is how fast you're gonna run right here is how fast we're gonna run here's how long you can run before you get tired and here's how long you gotta wait before you get when you get tired before you can run again so these things are good but over here is how long is how fast we actually run so this is very important because most of the time you're going to be running. Now these two over here are not upgrade. I don't upgrade them because half of the time you're going to end up having to stop because somebody spotted you. You're going to have to shoot somebody or something like that. So unless you're running from your spawn all the way to wherever you need to be, then these two things are not really important. And these three things up here, the move speed is when you're actually walking, not running. It's how fast you can walk, not how fast you can run. So... Over here is how fast we can move with a rocket launcher. So for those people that like to use some rocket launchers a lot, you know, I like to bring them out in domination or acquisition all the time, then this is for you. And this is how uh, the paratrooper, this is useless. You don't really, you can decently control your paratrooper, your parachuting down without this thing. So, and after we got those two things, I believe we got most things over the things covered already, except for vehicles. I guess if you like to be in vehicles, uh, the person, I mean, anybody who's going to get a vehicle, they just like driving the vehicle. So, if you can get lucky, you know, they, actually, they should add a skill here where uh, whoever's got something here fully upgraded should be able to, should be the person that you have the most priority to actually get on the vehicle. So, you know, so they should have the uh, priority to actually drive the vehicle first or something like that. They shouldn't be just anybody grabbing it, you know, because it can be abused. But this is pretty much like the resistance, like the vehicle speed, how fast your vehicle is going to run. So, if you're a person that got these things upgraded and you like to drive vehicles, you know they'll drive faster or whatever and uh smoke screen how long your smoke is gonna last you know for cover your turret before you can use it the impact damage from from clashing and you know amount of damage inflicted on enemies or whatever whenever you hit them and uh vehicle awareness and uh acoustic air pretty much detects people around you so that's it that's it i don't know I don't, there's nothing else i can say about that just you know skill tree upgraded it's important for medical kit and uh your resistance you know so you can last longer in battle and uh i have to go i think <laughs> all right wait a second anyways just got a friend who got here so i gotta go all right see you guys later Peace, enjoy, comment, like, subscribe, whatever. Tell me what you think. Bye. Peace.